All right, so let's now um, apply our classifiers to this credit card data set and to see how they will do. So we start with random forest. So I'm going to open uh, my drive and look for a random forest file that we can reuse. And remember, this is a CSV, so pandas. So ideally, we've done random forest with Pima Indians, which we have. So I'm going to make a copy of that file. And now let's open this file and do the usual uh, routine, which is uh, run the program to see if our drive was mounted and change the name of the file. So this is going to be random forest, correct? Yeah, and it's going to be on credit card credit card fraud okay and here we see that the drive is not mounted so we go to the usual routine and mount the drive so here it is we copy that and fill this out enter all right so ne let's now take a look here and see what we we can do we have our files here drive is now mounted yeah but here you see that it's still having the diabetes file so here I'm just gonna change this changes with credit card and it sh this should do it yeah so let's take a look uh, let's print the first five lines here we go um, what is this diabetes features mm, we don't need to run that so let's delete this line uh, the shape will of course change yes uh, this uh, we can delete this one we can also delete because the file is complete this delete as well delete and now we create two NumPy arrays and remember here the last column is class and not outcome so we will change this to class and this one as well okay here test size 0.2 perfect stratify is yes so let's run this and let's run this as well okay um i've commented out the the feature scaling here uh, we uh, we don't need it you know, we don't need it when we work with trees so that's why we commented it out and now the next thing that we need to do is uh, fit our model you see estimator is 100 so we choose 100 trees so let's run this this may take a little bit of time and uh, further I'm gonna delete everything which is below this you know, because we we don't need that all right we're done so let's now um, calculate the same KPIs that we as we did for anomaly detection it's mainly the ROC curve and the ROC AUC score uh, AUC stands for area under the curve again this block of code we've used uh, before uh, so let's run this now uh, here we go it's actually pretty good performance yeah we want this this blue uh, line to be as much in the upper left corner as possible and we basically have 96.3 in terms of area under the curve so we take note of that and we'll compare with um, gradient boosting as well as the anomaly detection uh, systems